Hey, it's Dave. So, didn't do an update last week because we actually went away for a week. And uh, whilst we were away, we decided that it's uh, time to move house. So, unfortunately, I've only not, not really got a lot done the next week because I'm um, obviously getting the house ready for viewings, or not so sort of viewings, but getting it valued, getting, getting the photos taken, getting it on the market. So, I've been doing that for the last uh, 10 days or so. And that's kind of taken up a lot of my time because um, the house just needs lots of things doing to it just to make it ready for people to come around and view it and hopefully to buy it off us. Uh, one of the main reasons for moving is um, want a better workshop. Currently this is our in-house workshop here and uh, it's just it's just having a whole a Nissan Leaf spread around the house is not very conducive to getting the project done. It's not very conducive to selling a house either. So everything's kind of been packed away which has made it very difficult to work on the project. Normally I've got all my welding and cutting gear out the front I can't do that either because people are going to start reviewing and I don't want it all just spread out there looking like a, a bit of a mess. So project's a little bit on hold while we get all that sorted out. And uh, one of the main reasons for moving is that we want, a, well I want a double garage with four poster lifting mechanism to lift the car up and a proper workshop that I can just start to knock these projects out a lot quicker. Uh, I'm not slow by any means but if I just had all my tools and everything in one place then I'd just get it done a damn sight quicker. And um, and so that's kind of one of the driving reasons. There are other factors that are personal, I bore you all with all my life story. Uh, we're going to stay in pretty local, but uh, we're on the market and hopefully we'll get moved uh, as quickly as possible. I've uh, done a few little bits. If I just show you around here, uh, this is my wiring loom for the BMS wiring for the uh, front battery pack. I've only done two wires at the moment, there's one there and one there. And uh, so this is all the extra wires that we'll need connecting up, all Cat5 cable going to the other end, got it all labelled up so I know which cables need to be uh, for which connector. Uh, pretty big job, there's probably about 200 connectors there so a lot to do. I just need to sit down for a couple of evenings and work my way through it. Um, but I did two and I got bored after two so uh, <laughs> I need to sit down and really work on that. Um, the plate underneath, there was two of these plates in the BMS, uh, sorry, in the battery module in the Nissan Leaf. And uh, what I've done with the other one currently is I've cut it because I don't need half of it. And I'm using it as my template in the RX-8. So I'm using that as a template to start to work out um, the spacings and the sizings. And it does look pretty good that I'll be able to get that battery pack in the front of the RX-8. Uh, slight, it's very tight and it's so tight that I'm probably going to have to make it on a sliding mechanism. So I'll put the mechanism in, build the battery pack, wire it all up, connect it all up and then slide it forward and bolt it in place because when it slid forward into its home, I can't get to the connectors anymore. So um, yeah, so that's a tricky bit, bit of tricky fabrication there. And I will show that in more detail, but I'm planning at the moment, and I don't think there's a lot of interest in me doing a video of just looking at the car with a tape measure. It's not a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave all that out. When I've got it clear in my head, I'll do that. Pretty certain the rest of it will live in the boot, so charger, 12 volt battery, um, contactors, uh, BMS will all be in the boot of the car. Probably drop the battery pack in the boot below the boot because there is um, a lot of space there from where the exhausts used to be, the back, back box used to be. So hopefully that will live under there and that will give a bit, a bit of boot space free then that, um, that can be used. So all in all, not done a great deal in the last couple of weeks and probably not going to get a lot more done this week either. But uh, in a week's time I'll try and do another video just to show anything that I've done. And, um, and a big thing as well is to remember that if you're working on projects yourself, don't get disheartened if you stop making progress. You know, life gets in the way. These are hobbies for most of us. Um, don't get downhearted. Just keep plugging away. Just spend whatever time you can, half an hour here, hour there. You'll be amazed how much time you can gather and how much you can get done in those little bits of time as well. It's kind of the way I do things. Um, I just pick a little bit of time out. I very rarely get to spend a whole day doing something. It's uh, half an hour while the kids are getting ready for bed, half an hour in the morning whilst uh, the kids are getting ready for school or, or whatever it is. So don't ever be disheartened if things do get paused like I've got at the moment. But we'll be back in a week, see where we're at and um, fingers crossed we can make a bit of progress. But anyway, take it easy.